Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am ManBearPig97, and today we are back with more Breath of Fire. Now in the last video, we took out this little location right here. After taking out the guy, destroying it to the ground, some random dude pops up, brings us back to that little castle down in the bottom left hand corner. So after you talk with them, they're going to then make, like, you'll then have to walk back to this location where then you will cross through that rubble pile or whatever you want to call it. And we're going to progress and see where we can wind up. Cut some slime because there ain't nothing better than chopping slime, right? That dang slime ball. There's such a slime. There's so many slime balls around. God. Oh my God, Becky. She is such a slime ball. Nah. So I hope everybody is doing well on this early morning. I believe daylight savings time took place last night. Not sure. I stayed up a little later than what I should have, playing around getting some ideas for some upcoming future videos. Happened to look over and realize that it was 11 o'clock. So I thought, well, I gotta be up at 5 so that way I can make sure I get to work in time to record my videos. That's what I do. I chill out back of work before work recording videos because, you know, I have no life. But I digress. So I set my alarm for 5 o'clock. Now, my math skills aren't exactly the greatest. That's where I fail is in math. <laughs> I might excel at, you know, science or whatever. I don't know, but that math is not my strong suit, okay? So that being said, when I put the alarm set it for 5 o'clock in the morning and looked over and noticed it was 11 o'clock. But I was only getting 5 hours of sleep. Now, my math skills again aren't great. But that don't add up right. I'm just going to say that now. So clearly something had to have happened. That's fine, but I wasn't quite anticipating it and was not prepared for it, and yeah, it happens. I was hoping to get lucky and find a, find a dresser or something that I could actually loot, but apparently not. Nope. Y'all some cheap son of a guns. Y'all are out here, nice little house. Ain't tore up. That dude looks like he's got a white jetpack or something or wings on his back. I'm not sure. My guess is they're wings. These are all like fairies. Not sure. Excuse the nasaliness of me today. Ooh, what we got? You take V potion. Was that like vitality potion? Can you see me? I'm hiding. Your vigor will increase. Hey! So vigor, vitality, it's all the same thing. It's all increase in health. That's what matters. Hello, little one. When I grow up, I'm going to soar like my brothers and sisters. Um. Yeah, let us know how that works out, I, I guess. Um, yeah. Now, if you want, you can come and purchase some gear, but I don't really purchase the gear too often. Ooh, let, uh, who's hungry? Mm, pig eats the fruit. Pig eats the fish. Somebody let some pig get loose and they ate up all our dinner. We're gonna starve. Oh no. 
Look, they respawn. How does that work out? The magic fruit and fish. Doesn't appear there to be much in here worth finding, but it never hurts to be sure. My luck, I'll skip the one that has the treasure chest in it with the secret loot. You know what I mean? Better safe than sorry. They're cheap, they don't have any fruit or vegetables or anything yummy. Alright, what's up with this house down here? I already got, I don't think I remember this one, but I probably did. Yeah, there's nothing here worth getting. They should have chests in every house for me to loot. Just saying. Come on. Go the way I make you go. Like, go that way. Alright, hello! Anybody home? You want to see the king? Please wait here. Princess Nina, the king has a visitor. Should I tell him the king is ill? No! If word gets out that the king's been poisoned, our people might panic. Keep this quiet until we can get the remedy. It may be very difficult to find. Princess, our visitor has been waiting. Show him to one of the guest rooms, please. And ask him to stay for tea. Princess Nina, are you going to look for the remedy alone? Don't worry, I can take care of myself. Hm. I'm worried about the princess. I'll find someone to help her. Thank you. <laughs> the king isn't here. Please wait until he returns. You must be tired. You can stay here for the night. You want to cuddle in one of our beds with nobody? Because they're too small for anyone but one person? So cozy. Sleeping so soundly. I must do my part to save the king and the country. For the Mazalan. anything worth finding. Oh, it's the king himself. And he is bedridden. Since my illness, you've done your duties well. I don't have much time. <coughs> he speaks as though as if he's already pretty much dead. But I mean, apparently there's a remedy out there. Does he have no hope? I mean, is that the kind of king we want? Is some dude that gives up with a little cough? King sending his little daughter out to go do all the work for him. That's kind of messed up, don't you think? Nothing like a few herbs, eh? Suede hat. Suede hat. And Tito. Harib. Harib. Here, hit, 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 
Let's see if the suede hat works for you, sunshine. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. I don't know, do I want defense up more or magic? Let's take defense. <laughs> it looks like that's the only options we got. Well, no, we'll do that. Defense dropped to one, but it takes that action up quite a bit and stuff, so we'll do that. We'll do that. Good deal. Now, unfortunately, this girl is not exactly what you would call strong. She's not as powerful as our character. <coughs> Pardon me. So that being said, she's going to be a little bit more difficult to uh, do her duties, if you will. But I like the wings. Too bad I can't just have her fly straight to where we need to go, considering she has wings. Two and two. Riding on down the river. Just watch out if you ever go riding down rivers you don't know because, uh, yeah, you. Oh, wait, hold on, let's do something real quick. But yeah, you go riding down rivers you might not know and you start hearing a banjo playing, you gotta get the hell out, man. You gotta get the hell out of there right now. You start hearing that. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. Better watch out, because someone's going to tell you you got a party mouth. The next thing you know, they're going to be making you squeal like a piggy. And I don't think anyone wants to be squealing like no piggy pie. So I've got a short reaper, or a reaper, or whatever. For all I know, it could be a Rapunzel. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and buy her the bronze rapier. Oh yeah. Not much of a difference, but every little bit counts, right? Now, I wanted to get a bit of marble. Just so that way I could be sure. Now, this side here is actually a warehouse. It's storage. So then I can have you take and put things in a chest to store for me for later to make room. But I don't think you'll need it. Like, you've got a pretty decent size inventory. Teardrops. What's the acorn for? That recovers AP, so we definitely want that. Because if I'm not mistaken, Nina will have special powers. You'll return to normal. Mistaken. She's got Cura, Fort, and Heal. <laughs> so yeah. She's got special powers and or magic, basically. Essentially, she's like a mage. So in to all technicalities, how many marbles did I get? We got a full nine stack, okay. But theoretically speaking. When we use the magic power, it's going to drain our AP. The acorn will then regenerate lost AP. 
which is something very useful to have because there's not too many things out there that do just that. Oh, looky here. We heard what's going on. Did you? You can't make it on your own, okay? We won't let you through unless we go along, okay? The soldiers join the party. So now we've got the, the temporary aid of two soldiers. So no special powers on them. Yeah, that's right, stats. I'm assuming they're both the same. Yeah, both level 8. <laughs> They've got an attack of 34, so they're not terrible. I wonder... Oh, he's already wearing suede hats, so yeah, he's probably got better gear than I can really afford to have at this point in time. So that's okay. A globe. That's what I'm talking about. One hit wonders over here, guys. Come on now. Oh, goodness. Pardon me, everybody. I'm sorry. Congestion is no bueno. And it's still early. I've taken sinus medicine, but for some reason, it just isn't cutting it. So I'm going to show y'all a trick. Remember the E key I told y'all about? Watch this. Three enemies, one attack. <coughs> they probably won't even get to do much. Or maybe they'll... Of course, I can't really, you know showcase the E-key properly because they had to get the first attacks even though technically Nina should have been faster. Get all the chests that you can. I don't know why I just went through all that whenever I could have just auto-battled the single enemy. Because it's not like he's going to be that difficult to defeat. Trust me. Not if you ground out the levels like I did properly. I don't see you having too much of an issue fighting him. Oh, come on. Of course I made it to the right location first. Why wouldn't I have had the right way first? Missing all those chests back there. Right. So we're just going to do a bit of backtracking with the marble, that way we don't get attacked, just to grab those chests real quick, because I honestly thought this was not the correct way, that this was just a way to get to a few of those chests in the back. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> like, I was bad wrong. <laughs> Luckily, it's not that far to backtrack, and we've got stuff to help. Luckily. Oh, wow. Man, that dress is an action point of six with a magic of, of 29, but that suede gown jumps action up to 25 and magic to 34. Yeah, that's a huge difference. Well, I guess it's safe to say that it's a good thing we went back to check the chests, right? Because that would have been something we would have completely missed. And Nina would have been up a creek without a paddle. <laughs> I don't think that would have been good. By any means would that have been okay. Okay. 
And it really doesn't matter which side of the chest you open. It'll still open no matter which side you're facing, even if it's the rear. You don't have to walk around to the, to the actual face of the chest. For the longest time, I thought that was the case. Now, maybe in the original version, maybe. But in this particular edition, no, it is not required. Iron ore. Now, what would that do, I wonder? A blacksmith would appreciate this ore. Uh, I mean, yeah. That's kind of obvious. Isn't it? I mean, that's like saying a child would appreciate candy. It's kind of an obvious given, isn't it? <laughs> Last time I checked, anyway. Now, I'm pretty sure Nina should be getting a level up here shortly. I'm pretty sure. Here, let's go ahead and take another marble just for, you know, sheer basis. Because I'm pretty sure she's going to get plenty of fighting. Although I'm sure she does need to do some serious fighting because she's only level 5. Which amazes me because my character's like up to level 8 now I think. And I'm wanting to say that's why the two soldiers that are accompanying me are also level 8. Now don't quote me, I don't recall for sure, but I know my character is above level 5 because if you recalled, we ground out the first 5 levels before we did anything. There's another bolt stone. There we go. Let her have a couple of battles. She could use the experience. Let's see if I can get her up one level before we get to the boss in this location. That's going to be a big if, though. I don't know exactly how far we are from it or how much XP she requires for the next level, but we shall see. Stone, maybe? Not a hundred percent sure on that one. Is it like a cooter stone? Is that what it is? Cooter stone. Or maybe it's a cuddle stone. Oh. This is Romero. Karma is west of here and Agua is north. Agua, 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 Agua. The wizard used a potion to turn the dead into zombies. Well, why'd you let him do that? Would y'all mind? Thank you. I was about to say, can you step aside there, sir? Everyone in the village calls me Grandma. Okay. Well, thank you, Captain Obvious. Why is this hole here? Why? What? You don't know why there's a hole in your house, bro? Let's find out. We live here secretly. There are quite a few of us. It looks like just two of you. What a mess. These jars are out of order and the map is missing. Uh-oh.
So you can do that there to get to this. And if I'm not mistaken, what we do, push it? Yeah, and then pick up using A, take them out. I'll never be able to use, why can't I use it? And why are you locked up? What's going on? Like, what sense does that make? Why have y'all got this dude locked up in some jail cell under some secret location? Okay, so what we've got to do here, like in the previous location, we've got to wait for it to get dark. Which, I mean, that's not that difficult. We just wait and let it get dark. So we can see some zombies. Because apparently, I guess they think zombies are like vampires and can't come out in the day. I don't know how that works, but I mean, whatever, dude. And now I'll tell you now, don't go wasting your time trying to run around and buy any equipment for your soldiers or anything like that because the soldiers are temporary. They're not main party members. They are there just for this sole mission. And once you finish with this mission and Nina actually joins the party with Pig, they will be gone. So there's no sense in spending anything on them because it's going to be a waste of money, essentially. Come on, darkness. Darkness, where art thou? Come hither and thither. More slime balls. Or I guess like little slime pyramids. I'm not, I'm not sure. Come on now, when is it going to be dark? Oh, she slammed him for a whole 28 damage, man. Their regular tax is doing 32. She slams him for 28. You gotta love it. I'm back from my eternal sleep. I missed my wife. Then you should have been around more often when you were alive. So wait, who are we supposed to talk to? We've already read that too. I'll be honest, I'm not 100% how I uh, advanced this quest. Like 
I know there's... We've got a base... Ooh, hello. What am I doing? I wasn't thinking very clearly. Which that happens from time to time. Nobody's perfect. But I'm over here doing this the hard way. chest what we got in our they sure do give away a lot of free herbs don't they it's like christmas i love that weapon hey now hey now hey now you better watch it sunshine don't start nothing, it ain't gonna be nothing. I tell you what, you don't need to be starting nothing because then there's gonna be something, and if you want something, you better do something. And if you do something, you better be ready for something, cause something, 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 with some something, something. Know what I mean? Beating up some poison bugs, that's how we roll. That's what we're doing. Yay. We win. And that's why I always recommend with Nina, unless she's healing up, like having to act actively heal somebody, I wouldn't waste an attack. I would just have her use that E key. Like that should be her only attack move. Because it's going to be a lot more powerful than any damage she's going to cause. And it also attacks multiple enemies with each attack. So, of, of, you know, essentially you're doing damage to everybody. Which at that point, I mean, you've got it going on. You can't, you can't, I mean, do much better than that. Come on. Fifty gold. That's rather handy. But I'm trying to find my way through this place. Quit. Again, a lot different trying to play it on a phone than it is using an actual controller because you can feel the buttons and know which way you're going. Here, a little bit different. Five marbles. Whatever shall we do? More herbs. Well, come on, where's the exit of this place? Excuse me, sir. Where might I find the exit? I need to get out of here. Please, sir. Please. Please. I need to get out of here, sir. It's scary. Making me want my mommy. close to it. Ah, go. Okay, there we go. And we have made it to the dungeon. 
So with that, that is all the time we have for this video. If you like what I'm doing and you'd like to see more of what I'm doing, please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Leave a comment down in the comment section if there's any new games you would like to see in the future or just any games, classic, new, it doesn't really matter. Just let me know what you'd like to see in future videos to help grow this channel as best as possible. And I really hope that if you can, be able to share this or these videos, if you will, to anybody possible just to help to get that name out there some. So that way we can grow as a channel and make it better for the viewers like you. So in the next video, we will tackle this dungeon and see what kind of boss awaits us. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend, and I will see you next time.